Okay, I'm about to uh, install the Primus Takancha um, electronic braking system. I've got a, a trailer over there. It's a 22 foot trailer. Um, I've got a 2014 Chevy Silverado crew cab and um, this was recommended to me. Part number 90160 and this part number is 3016-P. I got both of these on Amazon and uh, it didn't break the bank. But we're gonna go through the uh, steps to install this. And the first thing we need to do is we need to install this piece, which comes in that box right there. So, let's head over to the uh, truck. And if you go down here, there's this box. And uh, I believe that there's a tab on either side that we can use to, um, open this box you might need a screwdriver or just be beastly like I am and oh, I think there's there's got to be another tab around here somewhere but anyway the box is about to come out I'm gonna need two hands for this but uh, I'll show you what to do once I get the uh, box open all right well I found the other tab uh, here's a pro tip save yourself some time get a long screwdriver there's a tab up here always. You're probably gonna need a flashlight, but I found it. You have to pry that tab off, and then the box will slide off. Well, what do you know? I got the box apart. Wasn't too difficult. So we got some wiring harnesses and whatnot. So I'm going to be using this uh, Takancha thing that I bought, and um, I'm gonna plug it in uh, right up here. So, let me find out which exactly port to plug it in. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Here's the box. If you look up here, there's like, uh, on the left, there's all sorts of ports, but then there's like a little break, and then it goes way up top. So, um, all you gotta do is push it in there. There's like a little tabby thing on the left, and, uh, push it in. And um, when you put the box back on, at the top, there's a place for all the wires to come out. So as long as I push the wires up top, um, I can push the box back on and I should be just about good to go. So my wire exits out of the top of the box. There it is, the colorful one. And I kind of wove it around. There's like a... Um, I don't know what you would call it, a, a, a vent for your heat. And I put it over top of the vent. And let's zoom out a little bit. Now it sticks out right here. So I think we're just about good to go. Now we just need to plug in our um, Takancha brake controller, zip it in place, and we're all set. All right, so I'm down near my, um, my knees here. And uh, the braking control module's got this, um, I don't know, uh, the holder thing. And um, so I, I keep it really close to this. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, remove this part. I'm gonna need two hands for that. Hold this in place. Um, use a pencil to put two little spots. And then I'll drive in my screws for the bracket. And then I should be done. All right, so here's the finished product. Um, right down here. It's all plugged in. Uh, if I did not have a four-year-old looking over my shoulder, probably could have got this project done in, I don't know, let's say 15-20 uh, minutes. In retrospect, the only thing I would do differently, uh, potentially, is get some knee pads because they spend some time on your knees out there. So that would certainly be helpful, get some knee pads. And um, I don't know, that might be it.